That's cold. That's cold. That got to be a cold feeling. Man. You see what's that used to be on uh, Gillian Wallow's They He said his, his, his Meek Mills, he went to jail. And she went to the concert. And you remember that? Wow. Damn. You never seen that clip, boy? I think I did. I think I do remember seeing that. Oh, he, he did an interview. Where he what's talked, his name? Tony. He talked about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. said, he was like, man, his girl, he kept asking, who is it? He was like, man. He was like, man, this is one of my favorite rappers at the time. Damn. And had to hear that. Bro. Oh, that got to crush you. And then he went to jail and said she was still going out there with the nigga. Like, ooh. Imagine being locked up. And your bitch, nigga, you cannot control nothing. Because she's gone. Fucking your favorite rapper. Yes. Yeah, that's cold. That's a cold you know, way to go. Like, Fucking your favorite rapper? Yeah, that's a cold way to go, man. But I'm going to keep it G. A lot of these niggas are suckers, though, nigga. They'll take their bitch back and all that shit. All that. Mm -mm. Hey, man. It's the fear of starting over. A lot of people don't like to start over. Yeah, a lot of people don't like to start over. That's especially, sucker shit. Especially when y'all got families and shit too, though. A lot of people don't like to start over, Court. When you done put time and you feel like you done gave her everything and built her up and some some people don't like to Man, give that up. My bitch cheat on me, you can go hit by a train. Yeah, that's you, nigga. You and your mama. That's you, AD. Everybody ain't like you. Not just a train. think, just think, just think though. Just you and your mama get hit by a train. <laughs> you gonna be mad though. Hey. Who gonna be mad? You. Oh, for sure. You gonna be mad hey. though. For sure be mad, but hey. Chris hey. Brown. Yeah. Give me three days. <laughs> Chris Brown hit. You're going to be mad. Give me three days. But you're going to be mad at Chris Brown for life. No, I ain't going to be mad at CB. Give you three days for what? I ain't going to be mad at CB. And the next Why time I see him, going to be awkward. It's going to be awkward, for sure. What is it going to be? It's What's the approach going to be? Nah, nigga, you're going to be mad. What's the approach going to be next time I see him? You're going to be mad, nigga. Knowing that he know that's your girl, but y'all. No, no, no. If he knows it and he did it, yeah. then I'm going to say, oh, yeah, oh you don't fuck with me like that. I ain't talking cut no more. He's going to be like, I don't know you. He's going to be like, fuck blood. I don't really know you, nigga. That'd be cold. <laughs> Do you feel I, like he's entitled to respect your relationship? Yes, I talked to Cuz. You feel like he's entitled Man, that, to that, respect no. your relationship? That's an industry yes. homie, cause he's not he's not a homie. homie. So Chris Brown and came to a baby shower, he done hung with your girl, went to dinner, y'all double date. Like he knows y'all relationship. Cuz every time he see me, every time he hit me up, he be He knows y'all relationship. He yeah. he addresses you as AD and Lexi. He knows y'all. No, he met he met he met her before. Does we... he address you as AD and Lexi? <laughs> Why would he address you? That AD means and Lexi? I respect your relationship, nigga. Yeah. If I don't know your girl, I am not gonna respect your relationship, nigga. Else. I'm just saying, <laughs> I feel like Cud got enough respect for me. I, I know your he girl name at least. If I respect your relationship, I know your girl name. Right. Like you talk about her, but listen, Chris, I'm saying Chris I'm Brown. Charge it to, I'm, I'm Chris Brown, it. bro. Listen, I'm gonna charge it to the game. Chris, Chris Brown, see her. I'm gonna charge at, it to the game. See her at uh at Costco right now. And get at her. He ain't gonna know that show, girl. And if she say, <laughs> if she say, yeah, look, oh. hey, just like this, take me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and if she say, because this has been celebrities that you feel me, motherfucker, say, oh, you what's it called, baby daddy? Hey, you know, hey, nah, they like, no, nah, I can't fuck with you. For sure, for sure. That's respect. respect. That's what I'm saying. But then it's also those who uh, but there's, there's don't some give like, a flying fuck. Nope, like niggas right. get cracking. But then it's fuck them niggas, whoever they. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so do you get mad? Okay, if the nigga knows you and he addresses her like fuck him, I get that. But if the nigga don't know you and she just say I got a nigga and he be like fuck your nigga, not knowing it's you, are you still mad at him? No. Because at, at that point, it's up for your bitch to, you feel me? Stand up. stand her ground and and let it be known and shit. And in and in hindsight, like if she come home and say it, but. In the moment, if you're in a club and you're across the room in the and, he and he says it to her and she walk across the room like, hey, he just said, fuck you. And then, and, and then she, nigga, like I said. Beat that nigga breaks in. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, I look at shit different, though, because I'm like, nigga, I done done a lot of bullshit. I'm a, I, I, I got to charge up to the game, bro. I done did a lot of bullshit. Y'all niggas ever got a girl try to uh, try to pull y'all? You be like, man, I got a girl. Like, <laughs> yeah. Fuck your girl. <laughs> Wait, you said what? By, basically, vice versa. Yeah, vice versa. The chick you ever, be like, man, fuck your girl. You ever had a girl try to get at you? You like, I got a girl. <laughs> yeah. And then she said, fuck your girl. Yep. Yeah, I know that person too. Shit. Yeah. They be trying to wreck the home. But... Motherfucker be like, nigga, I beat your bitch up. I'm like, that's. Oh, a fat yeah. bitch? Nah, you say the nah. bad bitch said that to you? <laughs> yes. Are you shot it down? It's in the past, though. In the past. That's soft. <laughs> <laughs> That's soft right there. Good luck. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, I want to smash. <laughs> I hate it. I hey. can't do it, though. I can't do it. That's damn. a different story, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I and mean, I, in you my know. Head, in my head, I'm like, you probably could beat her ass, too. Man. That's some cold shit right there. 
Where, uh, where a girl being aggressive like that, like, yeah, you got a girl, I'll whoop her ass if you do. I don't care. Like, damn, that's aggressive. It's hard being a nigga. That's all I'm going to say. It's hard being a man. Hard being a man. And a woman. A black man. And a woman. <laughs> a black man. It's hard being a black man. Black woman. It's hard being from G. <laughs> it's hard being from G. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, no, because, like, it's crazy because a girl will not want you at all, and then they see you in a relationship, and, and, they, and, uh, they, and they want to just latch on in. And vice versa. It happens vice versa. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, can I have something to myself, please? It'd be vice versa. It'd be like a nigga okay. who a, a bitch has been single trying to get at him, and he, like, shooing her off, and soon she get a nigga, like, now he on her, like, it, it happens vice versa. I done seen both both ways happen. Yeah. Because they be jealous, like, because we look so good together as a pair, right? But you can't always match the same fly. Oh, I'm one of them niggas. Like, <laughs> like if, I was de- if I was dealing with you and I see you happy, it's going to hurt my nerves. Dang. It's going to hurt my nerves. Still to this day, you mean? And that's what's, no, yeah, what's going to throw something together. I'm just saying in general. Would you be mad? Let's, let's, let's talk about it. Would you be mad if your baby mama got with, like, you know, Somebody very popular. Mm. Know of you, but don't know you. No. And you know him, but don't know you. But you like, like, damn. They whatever. I see him in Crossing. See, see him in Crossing? I see him in Crossing time to time. Dang. I don't really know him. They ain't got nothing to do with me. So you wouldn't be mad? Nah. Okay. That, that's her pussy. You wouldn't feel some type of way? No. That's okay. her pussy. She could throw the party. They ain't my bitch. Okay. Yeah. And y'all be at the parties now, and she right long, there going up with him? As long as long as like my, my kid is not compromised in the situation, like... She ain't doing no no weirdo shit with my kid, and I don't give a fuck. That's her. Okay. I was just asking because of what you just said before. That's what I was asking. Man. No, no, that's different. Like, see, damn, I shouldn't even say this. Now, fuck it, I'm going to say it. It's like you deal with a female, and you the reason why she wouldn't got a nigga because she wants something, somebody to take her serious. Wow. And then you see her. Oh, that's, wow. that's a big ego. You got a big ego. Big ego. Yeah. yeah, I'm just kidding, honey. You got a big ego. I'm just saying. You didn't take yeah. her serious. You see her with somebody else. Did his. Oh, so you feel she's only getting another nigga to get rid of? No, 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 no. Not to throw it in my face, but actually, like you the bad, you the bad guy, you the dirt bad that didn't take me serious. Now I'm about to go look for somebody that's going to treat me right. And then you see that, and you like, mm-hmm. you know what? I didn't let a good girl go, and mm. now now I want you back. Mm. She didn't so now it's time for disruption. Mm. <laughs> what if she married? Hey. Mm. hey, sorry, Bart. Is this nigga Stat getting jumped in the chat? Stat always getting jumped. <laughs> he always in the chat getting jumped. Oh man. Stat, Stat has to embody the bad hey. guy. He gotta he gotta be the bad guy. Uh, he embody gotta, that shit. Wait, y'all never him. felt y'all never felt like that before though? Like what? you know you fucked up with a girl oh, of and course. then you seen her like in a in a in a good relationship and you just like oh, that ain't yeah. hurt your nerves. We, we all have been through that, That's bro. Mean when we I all relate with him. We human, bro. We all relate. But then that would make me like, that would make me like, like you more. It don't, then, even like a, I, it don't even be like, I like you. I like and then you I'm going to enter your life again. <laughs> and we going to get cracking. I'm going to fuck up again. No, it's not even a, it's not even a like you thing, though. That's the, it's old, not, That's the old me, though. Yeah, it's not even a like you thing. It's not like, I like you. It's like, it's the, it's the uh, thrill of like, can I still hit it? Yeah. That's it's, what it's it is. It's, not, it's it is. not even that, though. It's me, that thrill. I'm just like, you really going to cheat on me. You mine's forever. She ain't your nigga. I mean, your girl no more. Right. Until. Why you say you really going to cheat on me? That's not your girl no more. That's how I look at you. Yeah, man. You got to learn to let go. Hey, they move on. Oh, that's that's the old me. That's the old me. But if the the girl go for it, nine times out of ten, they still go for it. They let you back in. They get a more. uh, Not me. No, never mind. I was going to sound crazy. Say it. Just say it. No, I was going to say, say it. No, 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 no. I was going to say women, you know, some women typically, the older they get, they're not as, uh, they're more ex- accepting of certain things. That's just, this is true. Like, oh, you got a woman? That's cool. This is true. Heck no. It's women, it's women like that's no, yeah, older, older when they get older, older, they, older. they start once to accept once, more once things. They, once they hit that, that certain age, they're yeah. like, you know what? 40 and 35. They feel like I'm going to have to deal with something. I might as well just let this ride if I got something good going. Yeah. Not every, though. Not, not every. every. But there are women that or, be like, fuck or it. Or could you see yourself like that at all? Keep as, a G. As I've been getting older and living through life again. You don't want to be alone. <laughs> and I've, things have been thrown at me, <laughs> some crazy stuff. <laughs> and I have, I've seen myself dealing with some things. Wait, wait, wait what's the Sadly, craziest? Hold on, hold on. Not too crazy. What's not too crazy? I just don't. I just. I got a no, real question because no I know the answer already. 
You know what? What's that? Everybody done went through this. Have you had a, a, a ex that you you was in love with? Okay. Um, y'all break up, fall apart. You know he got a girl, and you let him double back one time. No, I never. never. I don't. <laughs> I don't typically go back to exes. And if they I'm have, saying it was not like going back to being in a relationship, but that one time, like cheat. Mm-mm. Not even cheat. It's just that one time double back. No, because I need to be. So you ain't never no. You never let nobody come back in your life. Never. I've let somebody come back in my life, but they hadn't been in a relationship. You, but do you think that they was fucking other people? Um, <laughs> of course they was. Yeah, if we we're just like messing around or something like that. But I typically, if if a man doesn't treat me right the first time, when I like get over it, I'm gonna just use him for what I, he used me for. Like I'm Whoa. not about to be like wow. if I choose to go back to him. Jesus. Like you know. I'm not about to be in love again because it's just like you didn't even like put the efforts I needed you to. See, but when women say that, I be like, that's not true, because y'all y'all deal with y'all feelings every time. Mm. Speak you on it. You can say that. So I'm using you for this. Like, nah. Let her know about herself. There's a certain attachment that you want still. Right. You know what I mean? Let her so, know, let her yeah, know about herself. Can't say that. Boredom. Cause, cause no, niggas, niggas cause cause it's not, it's nigga. not, it's not boredom though. A nigga can just fuck you and lay up with you exactly, all day and, 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 and cool, and, and go on about his day. You gonna eventually and this want the, him for him? And this and is the problem with, with some women too. Some women, they feel just because certain niggas be in their DMs, you beautiful, you beautiful, you beautiful. First of all, half them niggas y'all not even attracted to. The niggas that y'all like. It sounds good in y'all head. Or I can get any type of nigga. Y'all can't get any type of nigga. No, he said that. I'm just saying, that's what girls be thinking. They be like, I can get any type of nigga. The grass ain't greener on the other side most of the time. You know mm. what I'm scared of, though? You know how you said the DMs and stuff, how we not attracted to them niggas and the crazy niggas and stuff? Y'all not attracted We're to them. We're not attracted, but I just don't ever want one day, like, my man to be, like, thinking, like, since it's ugly roaches in my DMs, he could be, like, looking in the streets. <laughs> these roaches in these streets. <laughs> no, like, but, you know, from some, like, God forbid, some insecure, sh- like, I don't know, like, she's probably like, no, it's freaking roaches in the sea. Yeah, but you got to understand, too. Like you just said, you said, I'm doing something when I'm bored, but you didn't acquire a certain type of person. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So that's the bar. You didn't got settled with this. So everybody else under that in your eyes, you're going to be like, nope, 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 nope. But this person is still right here. Yeah, that's true. Come back in. Come back in. Come yeah, back in. Come back in. Yeah. Because the minute you find somebody you feel is above him, you're going to tell that nigga, kick rocks. You're going to tell that nigga to kick rocks. And then when this nigga fuck up, he may still be around and available. No. And then you're going to sit there and do it again. Oh, no. I'm telling you. That's mm. what most of these girls do. No, 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 no. Cook, my boy, cook. When I find when love is, when the guy, the love hits my lap, right? I don't see nobody else. No, no, that's at the moment. Mm. Mm, that's the up. that's the moment. Tell her about herself, man. <laughs> because look, let me ask you. Something. I ain't trying to get too deep into it. How many how many real relationships you feel like you didn't have? Serious relationships. Serious. I say like five. Five. Man, and what good. was the longest one? That's a lot. Two years. The longest one was two years. Yeah. Serious relationship. What was That's not sh- a serious relationship. Yeah, what was the shortest one? I've never... A year. Mm. Damn, you giving out one year contract. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Them I niggas can't. like, I'm out of here. So, so no nigga can stay with you past a year. <laughs> okay, the door. No nigga can stay you with you past a year. Yeah. Okay, what makes the niggas get put out the door? Insecurities. That's what it sounds like. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. It's a little bit of both. I be- <laughs> it sounds like insecurities. Um. What part do you have to play? I think it's just as, as soon as I feel like somebody's trying to play with me. If I'm being extremely loyal and I just feel like shit isn't getting too weird and you playing with me, just like and you're not just being clear on, you know, if you want to just be with me, I get up out of there. But what signs do you do you, see, do you then, see to feel like somebody's trying to play with me? Because sometimes women's mind get the best of them when it's nothing. We be overthinking. Mm-hmm. Exactly, overthinking could kill the whole situation. Right, and I've ransom. I probably ransom in a way. So you probably. can say it was on. It's on you. Yeah, I probably acted a little bit too like obsessive or clingy. Clink. <laughs> Clingster. Clink, clink. Like the clingy thing works to some people, and sometimes it's not even you being clingy. Sometimes people, you, you if you be, if you meet somebody and y'all just a team, a unit, you know, I'm gonna hold on to that, but create some balance. But definitely, me overthinking has ran some some in a way, for sure. But the X thing, if I find love. 
I don't see nobody else. The problem is, is everybody has certain expectations that they don't bring to the table. And then that eventually is that same shit that grows people apart. It's filling that void. Yeah, because you know, you know in your mind right now what type of nigga you want. You feel me? How you want to be treated. And it's not just attraction. Because mm -hmm. you can get the person that you think is that person. And then you like, you know what? I'm still missing this void. Right. Because you know what you want personally. <laughs> he got everything but you can't. Feel me? What happened to you? I'm just like, well, you be in your little deep pockets of uh Dang. <laughs> I mean, I'm over here. All right, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Man, shut your ass up, nigga. Yeah, Happy Thursday. <laughs> hey, man, I'll be cooking, nigga. I went to see you. Uh, I'm cooking right you. now. Why you gonna do me like that? Hey, I'm thinking about it. How long we gonna be on this topic? <laughs> Why I'm won't like, y'all let me cook? Oh my God, this nigga ain't gonna stop, <laughs> girl. God, Damn. Damn. We dragging this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you like, tell her about herself. That's all right. Y'all need to do a one-on-one -on -one episode for that yeah. shit. You stay after school, Court. You stay after school. After school program. <laughs> you stay after school. After school. Wait, program. why? Is that in the chat? Why are y'all going crazy? Yeah, they going crazy. They've been going crazy on this thing for like an hour, bro. Uh, he said AD take. Kevin Samuels lives through AD. <laughs> um, the Lyle, Messiah! Lyle. I think it was going in oh, right now. To the AD Messiah. Samuels? Yeah. yeah. That nigga was going in. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I thought my boy was going to stop. Healthy relationship. <laughs> all 2024. Uh, but what do you think? What do you guys think about, like, the, oh, shit. somebody's ex asking don't ask, you? Don't ask me. What do you guys think about uh, the, the woman's ex or vice versa? The woman's ex um, asking y'all, like, oh, you, you mess with her? Like, my ex? My, my, wait, wait, wait. That's a lame as Somebody hell. Somebody right? that's, that's going to reach out? Right. I'm going to be like, nope, that's my sis. Yeah. <laughs> that's lame as hell. And I'm a fucker. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's dark. Like, don't ask me. Fuck you asking me for, nigga. Yeah, if you got to ask me, you already lost. You're in a relationship. How you going? Never mind. If you already asked me, you done lost. Bro, I'm not. I'm talking about in, hypothetically speaking. Right, right, right. Been in a and relationship zero. ever since I know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is all content, y'all. It's, it's all for the camera. Nothing I say is true. <laughs> These niggas is family men. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with I said, and woman, because I'm a. Ooh, I was about to get offended. My cousin you got a problem with a family? You got a problem dating a nigga with kids? I, I, I told you, I, I've did it um, with kids. You got a problem with a nigga with five kids, or six kids, seven kids? Like, yeah, what that got to do with you, though? <laughs> five or six, is that too many for you? What that got to do with you, though? What that got to do with you? You never though? know. I might, I might have dated someone around with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever had a nigga like that? Like, you know, I got all these kids. What that got to do with you, though? Type um, shit. I would have to assess the situation, the lifestyle, how long I've known them. Somebody I just met, probably not. So look, they like, hey, can you watch the kids real quick? And there's no. six of them. Can you watch I'm the not kids? A babysitter. Damn. You're, you're not my mom. Hey, as, as, as a woman, daycare. as a woman, how long before a nigga can ask you to watch his kids that you walk into a situation with a nigga with kids? He will not be as okay. No, it happens if you're okay, his girlfriend. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're After right. After how long is it? Where it's like, oh, you this nigga trust me already? What's too soon? I don't know. I don't. That's not really my. Um, as a yeah. woman, what you think? As, what's too soon? Okay, too soon though. Within that week, talking to get my kid from the uh, daycare. The same week? That's crazy. That's a bad parent. <laughs> no, but bad. I can see it. I can yeah. see that happening. That's a bad parent. Um, I, I, within a week, letting the girl he just um, met. I feel like I feel like within like the a, a year, if I'm day, I would like be by your going to pick up your kid, like type shit. Yeah, a year is cool. That should be. You should already be in the flow of that. Like, it depends on that. how locked in y'all are and the uh, the nature of her knowing your kids too. Yeah, because yeah, that also it also takes an account of. As a parent, you like, do I trust this person? If you don't trust that person, they shouldn't be picking up your kid at all. A year, right. a year is a the very baby mama short gotta time. Be a year is a long time. No short well. time. If you if you're locked in with somebody dinner every day, you trust. It depends. Your kid. Yeah, it depends on the relationship with your kid, though. But do you think the baby mama should have a say so in that? I feel like uh, the one hundred percent because the baby daddy should have a say so. It's not really up yeah. to me. It's a, it's up to like them. Oh, agreeing. listen, listen. If they're babies, 
you're probably not going. They're not going to accept that off the rip. Right. Nope. Yeah, no, not as a baby. I don't even. Want to when your kids is older, they'll accept it. Been, been through that. What? Right, that's you a that. baby? Oh, you that yeah, bitch better not be around my kids. Man. Exactly. She you, better. The, he, she, she better not, not touch my kid. Yeah. yeah he yeah, better yeah. not have a mark on him when she's watching him. He not going to be able that. to see the kid without her. Some of these relationships, you can only see him with me there. All right. Well. There it is, y'all. Enough of that shit. Let's get on some destruction. What do we have? <laughs> What's hot on the menu right now?